This is pre-calculus video on section 2.4. Solving radical equations, and this one is with one radical. Um, there's a separate video if there are two radicals in the equation. All right, so here are my steps. First, isolate the radical. Second, raise both sides to the inverse power. Step three is solve. Step four, check for extraneous solutions. Okay, we're going to do my first example. Um, step one, isolate the radical. That means I have to get rid of the one that's on the same side of the equal sign with the radical. So I'm going to subtract one from both sides. I'm going to bring down the radical. Two x minus one because I brought the one to the other side. Step two, raise both power sides to the inverse power. So the inverse power of the square root is to the power of two. So I'm raising both sides to the power of two. All right, so I've got. On the left-hand side, that power of 2 just undoes the radical, which means I didn't need that radical sign I just drew. All right, so um, that um, liberates the 4x plus 33 out from underneath the radical. On the right-hand side, I have to raise a binomial to the power of 2. So I'm going to use that formula that um, I've been making you learn, the square of a binomial. So I've got the first term squared, a times b multiplied together times 2 gives me negative 4x, and then 1 squared is 1. All right, this is a quadratic equation. I'm going to move everything to the right-hand side. So I can set the equation equal to 0. OK. Now I've got four different methods for solving quadratic equations. I would like to see if this is factorable or not. First, I want to try and GCF this. And then I want to look, are there factors of negative 8 whose sum is negative 2? Yes, there are. So this is factorable. Let's factor it. This is easy AC. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set those factors equal to 0. and then solve both equations. All right. Um, you have to check for extraneous solutions. All right, let me get this equation. Can I bring this down? All right, so here's my equation. Um, I want to bring up my calculator. Okay, and I'm going to plug in my two solutions. What were they? Positive 4. I'm going to plug in a positive 4. So I've got 1 I have 1 plus the square root of 4 times 4 plus 33 gives me 8. That's the left-hand side of the equal sign. 2 times 4 is 8. That's the right-hand side of the equal sign. So my first solution is correct. This is a true solution. Let's check the other one. 
So I have 1 plus the square root of 4 times negative 2 plus 33. Oops, back. 3. Okay. Equals positive, positive 6. Did I do that right? Negative 2 plus 33. All right, looks like I did it right. All right, is that equal to 2 times negative 2? 6 is not equal to 4, so therefore this is not a solution. So always check for extraneous solutions. Here's my next problem. Okay, step one is to isolate the radical. In this case, I already have the radical all by itself. It's on the left-hand side. So step two is to raise both sides to the inverse power. I'm going to raise both sides to the power of two. On the left, the power of two um, undoes the radical. On the right, I'm using the formula for square of a binomial. So the first term squared, the two terms multiplied together and doubled, and then the last term squared. This is a quadratic equation. I'm going to move everything to the left to set the equation equal to zero. Moving everything to the left will cause your leading coefficient to be positive. So 3x squared minus 1x squared is 2x squared. 7x minus 2x is 5x. Negative 2 and negative 1 is negative 3. Okay. Um, let me see if this is factorable. It has no GCF. Are there factors of negative 6 whose sum is positive 5? 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. I need the signs to be different to multiply to a negative 6. So that has to be negative 1 and positive 6. So let's factor this. First times first is 2x times x. Outer times outer has to be positive 6. I need a 3 in the outer. Inner times inner has to be negative 1. I need a negative 1 in the inner. There it is factored. Set your factors equal to 0. And then solve both equations. All right, now to check for extraneous solutions. My first is one half. So for the purpose of checking my work, I'm going to go ahead and use decimals. So let me just check to see if 0.5 works. And I can't see my formula. Hold on. If I were to bring this down here so I can see it. All right, so I've got the square root of 3 times 0.5. plus 7 times 0.5 minus 2. That equals 1.5. Let's see about the right-hand side. I've got 0.5 plus 1. 1.5. All right, so the first solution is true. So 0.5, or actually 1 half, I'm not interested in the decimal. I'm interested in the simplest fraction. One half is the solution. Let's check the other one. The square root of 3 times negative 3 squared plus 7 times negative 3 minus 2. It's positive 2. All right, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So they do not equal, and this is not a solution. So this one only has one solution. 
All right, that's it for this video, solving radical equations with only one radical.